<clears throat> Hello, in this video I will show you how to use my latest plugin, Eventomatic Eventbrite Post Generator plugin for WordPress. So, using this plugin, you can create posts uh, for events uh, that are in your area or remotely and uh, <clears throat> fill your WordPress blog with posts uh, pointing to events concerts or other social events. So to get started, click plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file, navigate to the zip file you downloaded it, click install now. After the installation, activate the plugin. Now go to plugin settings. To get the event bright uh, personal OAuth token, Click on this link. Here, if you don't have already an account, you should create an account. After you have created your account, log in and click the Create New App button. Fill in the required details. <coughs> Application URL can be anything, it doesn't matter, but it all it is required, so you have to fill in here something. Application name, description, and the checkbox. Click create key. Now you have to click on the show client secret and OAuth token <coughs> and copy the personal OAuth token personal OAuth token. So you have to copy this and paste it here. Save info and starting from now the plugin is ready for work. To click <coughs> to begin importing stuff click events search. Okay now we can start using the plugin. Let's uh, start by uh, importing something, let's say uh, party. I want to search for the party keyword. Uh, the rule should run every 24 hours. Every 24 hours the maximum 10 posts should be imported. Post status pending draft publish private trash. Post type post page or any custom post type you have on your blog, post author, generated post title, here you can use shortcodes, a list of available shortcodes are these, generated post content, here you can use also shortcodes but here you will have many more shortcodes to use in the content of the posts. You can sort results by date, distance, or best match. <clears throat> Remember last posted item and continue search from it. If you want to continuously search for posts, check this. If you want to get only the latest, uh, latest events that match your search, uncheck this. Strip images from content. Evade event location address. You can input an address from where you want to search for events. Event location within. You can input here five miles to search for a location within five miles of this latitude and longitude. You also have to input these two. You can also set up a view post, a view post and define its northeast latitude, northeast longitude, southwest latitude, and southwest longitude. You can define a box in which you want to search in this view post. You can input an organizer ID, a user ID from Eventbrite. So these IDs are from Eventbrite. Link tracking code. If you want to add a tracking code to your links, you can input it here. Event categories, also these are Eventbrite category IDs. Subcategory IDs, formats, 
price, start date, range start, start date, range end, start date, keyword, this week, next week, this weekend, next month, this month, tomorrow or today. The same for date modified. If you want to include sold out tickets or not. Limit title word count. Generated post format. If you, your team supports custom post formats, you can use them here. <coughs> Additional post category to assign categories to posts. Auto add categories from title or from tags. Auto add tags. Initial post tags. Enable comments, pingbacks, trackbacks, custom post fields. You can input custom fields in this format, custom field name UNO, custom field value UNO2. Okay. <clears throat> you can auto-generate featured image and set a default featured image if no featured image is found. So let's save this rule and let's demonstrate the feature of the plugin. Let's have a look at our blog. It has only a test post. Now let's run the rule. Importing is running and it is also already finished. Let's see what we will get. As you notice all party related stuff. Let's have a look at the post. These parties are smaller posts. I mean, these are also <coughs> contain images. These are created by uh, uploaders, so they will contain their advertising or so maybe. Let's search for something else, let's say theater, let's delete posts and create new ones. <clears throat> so let's refresh the page now and see what happens importing finished and as you can see theater related posts are coming now okay so let's head back to the plugin now let's view the activity and login section here you can view what rules are running currently, restore plugin default settings, delete all posts generated by this plugin and view the activity log of the plugin. Here only errors will be displayed so it's ok for it being empty. Now let's go back to main settings. <coughs> Here we have a bunch of advanced settings for the plugin. If you don't want to check for duplicates each time the plugin runs, check this checkbox. This means that the plugin will post duplicates at each run. If you have a web proxy address, you can input the address here. Authentication for it here. Strip links from generated post content. Show extended item information meta box. These are, I show you right now what this information meta box is. If you go on a post in admin, you will see down this meta box. This can be disabled from here. <clears throat> also, you can disable logging for rules from here. Automatically clear logs every once in a while. Timeout for rule running. If a rule takes more than this amount of seconds to run, it will automatically be stopped. Sends rule running summary in email to this email address. 
minimum title work count, maximum title work count, minimum content work count, maximum content work count, uh, band word is required word list. These are posting restrictions. If the post does not met, if the post does not met these restrictions, it will not be posted. You can resize the featured image to a uh, width and height. Strip HTML elements by ID or by class from the content. Skip posts that do not have images. Skip posts that older than this selected date. Automatically translate content to any tr uh, language using Google Translate. Spin text using word synonyms. The, here are some available spinning methods. Random sentence generator using them by these shortcodes. Define here or here sentences. The sentences can have variables. You can define the values for variables here. So the plugin will replace the variables with a random value and select a random sentence from these sentences and replace the random sentence shortcode with it. Custom HTML code. These are the shortcodes for them. <coughs> you can define here add codes or anything else you wish. You can define affiliate keyword search tool, search for a keyword, replace it with another keyword and add a link to it. Also, the plugin offers uh, two shortcodes, WordPress shortcodes, event automatic list posts and event automatic display posts to list posts that were generated by this plugin in a WordPress friendly manner on any page you wish. <coughs> so, this is all for this plugin by now, for now. I hope you will enjoy it. Until next time, bye bye.